Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachahakurash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I just wanted to uh, speak real briefly on uh, the Christians, you know, Vocab Malone's mocking of, uh, you know, us Israelites speaking of the fact that we will have spiritual power. All right. First of all, when you go into the scriptures, you know, Yahweh Shai told his disciples that they're going to do, all right, the works that he did in even greater works. All right. So the mocking of spiritual power being spoken about shows that these Christians don't have the faith, neither do they really believe in the scriptures. Okay. Because uh, as I said, here it is, you have this devil using his technology to do all manner of crazy. All right. But the minute us Israelites, the downtrodden, the poor, the maimed, the halted, the destroyed of this world, wake up and figure out we're the sons of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. We receive this word. This word is going to lead to us doing great works, brothers. This is no low level thing. As a matter of fact, real quick, let's start off with first John. The third chapter. OK. First John. One or first John three and one, it says, behold, what manner of love the father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. OK, so we we understand that the things that we're saying are outside of the uh, box. All right, <laughs> that the people in this world's mindset have been placed in It's only so far a Christian's mind is going to go. OK, now it's first starting with the world of Israel, but the whole world knoweth us not. The things we're saying, they're outside, they're hard to grasp. All right, because they're not of the household of faith. You see, those of us who are of the household of faith, we believe wholeheartedly in what Yahweh Shai told his disciples. And we look forward to it. OK, real quick. We look forward to receiving these promises. OK, so it's a it's a it's a blessing. All right. To come back into that a state of being called the sons of God in the scriptures, say in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There shall it be son said, ye are the sons of the living power. All right. So we, we take great pride. All right. And we know of the miracles and the strength. All right. That the heavenly father through his only begotten son worked through particular men in the old, uh, in the ancient times, how much more and what we're coming into. All right. It says, beloved, now are we the sons of God and it does not yet appear what we shall be. All right. But we know that when he shall appear, speaking of Yahweh Shai, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And right now he's on the right hand side of the heavenly father. He's in that heavenly estate. Right here we're reading. We're going to be just like him. We don't know exactly what we're going to be. All right. But we know we're going to be like him. Meaning I can't tell you exactly every attribute of the spiritual body. But what, what we can do is go into prophecy. All right. And give you a roundabout understanding of what's coming. Through the spirit, through faith, and every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. If you believe this, then you should be in the spirit, man. If you really believe we're going to be like him and see Yahweh Shai as he is, all right, then there's a particular spirit you should be walking in, all right? Now, we know Yahweh Shai did many great works that so great that you have Israelites who are scared to... Pro, pro, proclaim it because they look at it as witchcraft because he walked on water. All right. Don't you know there's particular animals that walk on water species that walk on water. But when it comes to the son of the most high and the sons of the most high, when we say he did that and we're going to do that, it's, it's, it's crazy. Right. 
And there's other animals. I mean, you know, we were sitting up talking. I was speaking to uh, the priest Shaman and a few other brothers earlier about how to, you, you have ants who can move up to 20, size, 20 times their body weight with ease. You have dung beetles who can move up to 40 plus times their body weight with ease. Okay? And they're, they're, look how small they are. I mean, but when it comes to us saying we'll be able to move a tank, that's outside of the, the vocab Malone can't grasp that. All right? Because really these Edomites know that if we are to get power, that they will be visited through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. They know that subconsciously. So, so here it is, the devil himself can say, I'm going to, you know, uh, 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 put a haragma in the whole world and monitor them from the inside forever. And that's cool. We say we can move a tank. That's that, 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 that we got to stop. That got to be talked about. We're crazy. Okay. But the devil can use his technology, his form of spiritual power to boast and say whatever the hell he wants. John 14 and 10, believest thou not that I am in the father and the father in me? All right, proving that two separate entities. All right. <laughs> the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. And see, they don't believe in the power of the most high. That's why when it comes to miracles and spiritual power, a lot of people start who, who, who proclaim they believe in this book. They don't really want to talk about it. See, that's what makes you a fool for Hamashiach's sake when you're not afraid to declare what this Bible is really talking about. Okay, because we've been so beat down. All right. That, 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 you know, our people start to think that there's no greatness outside of dunking a basketball. Look, we, we, we have far more through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. We offer far more to the earth, man. <laughs> there's just good music and, and shooting threes. The power that's coming unto us, brothers, is on a whole nother level. And our women are going to have forms of spiritual power. How about that? None of you heathen will, will, will uh, uh, partake in that covenant. It says, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. And what were the works that Yahweh was doing, man? <laughs> He was able to uh, uh, disappear, walk through walls. All you have to do is understand the elements, heal people, forgive sins on earth, make the blind to see. Now Esau has technology where he's making the blind to see, the lame to walk. People without, you know, particular, uh, uh, you know, who can't walk, who are paralyzed through putting a chip in their mind, right? They're able to cognitively talk, walk, right? We're seeing these things happen in our lifetime. We see this technology, but then when it comes to it being done in righteousness through the most high, everybody bitches up. But see, that's for us to proclaim, okay? They don't believe in the power. Here it is. The sun is up there. The moon's always there. You have air, you have trees, you have water, but you don't believe in the power of the Most High? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also. And did not the disciples go out healing? And greater works than these, all right, shall he do, because I go to my Father. Greater works than the Messiah did as he walked the earth. He's telling his disciples, that's what you're going to do. Do you believe that? Oh, Bible believer. Hmm. Let's see if we can get a precept to that. Remember, he cursed the fig tree and it withered. Matthew 16 and 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils and shall speak with new tongues. So the Lord is going to put the spirit on us to be amongst particular people who may speak one language and will be able to speak it. Okay, all of these things that, you know, these are light things, man. Let 
Luke 10 and 19. And I give you. And I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto thee. All right. But because your names are written in heaven and that's ultimately what it's all about. These things are gifts from the most high through Yahweh Shai, man. That's what we're rejoicing in. But we understand and know great power is going to come. Now, let's get Matthew 6 and 26. I want to make this point real quick. Matthew 6 and 26. It said, Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Now, don't you know there are particular animals who already have forms of spiritual power? And we're, and, we're, and we're greater than them, right? Case in point. Okay. It says, if humans had the vision as an eagle, as good as an eagle's, we would be able to see an ant from the ground from the roof of a 10 story building. We would also have br brilliant color vision, UV vision, and nearly 360 degree degrees range of view. All right, now they, they say the human being, we only use only a percentage of our brain. Imagine when the law, statutes, and commandments are fully put in us, the capability of the bodies we're gonna have. If an eagle can do that, and we're better than them, how much more do you think when the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah is fully upon his people that we're going to be? Because clearly it says, right? So this proves you Christians don't really believe in the power of the book. And now that we're bringing it out, the only thing you can do is hate. Hate and ass nigga. Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day, Shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem? Okay, and we know he's going to defend us through birds, as birds flying. All right, those chariots. Okay, and he that is feeble among them, the, the least amongst our people, shall be as David, which David was a mighty man. So if, if just the least is going to be as David, with the spiritual body and the laws written in them, how about the, the elite of our nation? Because there is going to be a ranking system. Okay. It says. He that is feeble among them. Shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as God. As the angel of the Lord before them. Now when the angel of the Lord was before the children of Israel in the wilderness. They were doing mighty works. But when the law, statutes, and commandments are putting in us, it said the house of David shall be as God, as the Allahayim. That that term God, Allahayim, rulers, divine ones, angels, gods, works or special possessions of God, God-like. So if we're going to be God-like in that that and we're going to rule on earth as it is in heaven. We're going to be like Yahweh Shai. We're going to have the, the bodies he had. We're going to have the power he has. He's going to share it with us. What is the limitation in righteousness that, <laughs> that we are to look forward to? We've been beaten down. We've been told we were three fifths of a human being. All of this pseudoscience puts down our throat. We're black, you know, we're African American. All right, we're, we're no good. We've been placed and accused in this box. The accuser of our brethren has put us in this box. Okay. To where, you know, mentally we can never go any further. Thugs, baby daddies, baby mamas, side piece, all this bullshit. We're way, we're greater than that. So when we, when we're set up, <laughs> when we're set up in our heavenly bodies, when we, we're going to come down and rule in those bodies. So what in the hell do you think, even before that, some brothers, I believe, are going to get spiritual power here while America is still going? Okay? Allah Hayim, plural, gods, in the your ordinary sense, but specifically used in the plural, the magistrates, 
okay? The magistrates, man, the rulers, man, gods. And that goes back to what? Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, the Alahayim created the heaven and the earth. So, so if we're going to rule on earth as it is in heaven, we say that in our prayer every day. What is the limitation? Why can't we use our imagination to think greater for ourselves? See, you heathen, you Edomites, Vocab Malone and the rest of you Christians, ultimately you wanted us to just remain niggas. Okay, well, well, guess what? The Lord has pretty much illuminated us, as the scriptures say. All right, as a matter of fact, we'll get that in the book of Baruch. And we'll end it off. Now, if an eagle can be 10 stories high and see an ant wiggling on the ground, that's a form of spiritual power, man. An owl can see at night. You see? These are forms of spiritual power that animals possess. You have animals, species that walk on water. Spiders can walk. Ducks can, certain ducks can walk on water. But then when you hear that we can do it, we're going to do it, then it's, it's crazy. That Yahweh did it, the son of God. That's, that's crazy, right? Baruch 4 in one, this is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endured forever. All right, the whole volume of the book. And they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. And our eyes have been illuminated through the eye salve, through the spirit. Give not thine honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. And our, our, the, 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 the heathen are so used to us bowing and kissing their ass and always wondering about their interest that now that the remnant are awakening and speaking great things upon our own nation, men, women, and children, they, they can't fathom it. Literally, it says in Isaiah, the 11th chapter, how about this? I mean, as a matter of fact, let's, let's get two and then we'll end it off. book of Job, the fifth chapter. I know where it's at. I believe it's Job 5. Let's see here. Job, the fifth chapter in the 21st verse, maybe. I started 19. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. All right. Like like Jephthah, they say, well, the lion's den, Moses, all of these things were symbolic. The Lord is not powerful enough to do those things. Oh, ye of little faith, man. It says in famine shall he redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword. <laughs> thou should be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Neither shall thou be afraid when destruction cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. That's spiritual power right there. Don't you know one day, Vocab Malone, we're going to go back to how it was at the time of Noah, where the animals were obedient to us at the time of uh, Adam? Well, we, we, we see an a, 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 a animal like a fierce bear. And we'll walk up to it and be able to communicate. Don't you know Solomon had those powers? To, to know the plants, communicate with the earth. You know, boat need, dealing with different, how to deal with animals. Huh? We're going to be at peace with the stones of the field. Everything is going to operate with us on a level that it never operated with any nation ever on this earth, man. Right? So the, 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 the wild animals will be at peace with you. Not only us, our children. Isaiah 11. So we got a lot to look forward to. And it's funny that when we start to think highly of what's coming for us and, you know, if it ain't drugs and rap, they're not happy. They don't want to see us smiling. That's why 
Look up laugh buckets. Us laughing back, you know, when Eve was in his, you know, in, the, in his power, maybe around the forties, you know, when, you know, Jake couldn't walk around smiling. If they saw you smiling, you'd be worthy of death of getting your ass beat. So what you would have to do is put your head in these laugh buckets and laugh. You be I better not see you smiling, boy. So they don't want to see us in any form of joy, man. And see, we've hit the jackpot. Remember vocab, the Israelites act like they've hit the jackpot. We have. Isaiah 11. And under Yahweh gathering the remnant, the elect, and setting up the kingdom. This is what's going to happen, man. Verse 6. This is what Yahweh and the Israelites bring to the table. But it's a downgrade to call yourself an Israelite. Isaiah 11 and 6. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall dwell down with the kid, which is a baby goat. All right. Really, we have children. Kid is a, is a, is a baby goat, but a kid can be referred to. A child can ref, be referred to as a kid as well. It says uh, we have children. We're the children of Israel. Our sons and daughters are our children. Kids are basically, you know, goats. But at the end of the day, it says, and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and the little child shall lead them. So your little child, a little child is going to be able to walk with, with, with a lion. You see your child with a poodle that you ain't never seen. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. But in the kingdom, Right. And this is so far fetched for Jake, man, because you your 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 expectation is low. You have this apartment mentality when it comes to the kingdom. Okay? And the cow shall uh and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. Meaning the lion is now gonna eat off the earth. They ain't gonna be hunting other animals. Praise you, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to eat off the earth. And the sucking child, your, your, your baby, shall play in a hole of an asp, a poisonous snake, and the weaned child shall put his hand in the cockatrice den. <laughs> right. So our children are going to be on a level. De a deadly snake. Our children are going to be playing with deadly snakes without harm because that's where really children are supposed to be outside. That's how we learn. Being at one with the earth, man. All these synthetic synthetic toys and tablets and shit. This devil has, you know, it separate, detaches our children from the developing. Anyway, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Yahweh. As the waters cover the sea. Read this in the NLT. In that day, the heir to David's throne <laughs> will be a banner of salvation to all the world and the nations will rally unto him. And that starts with the Israelites scattered amongst all the nations. That's who salvation is for. And once that throne is established, righteousness is going to be the standard. All right. And it's going to flourish throughout the whole earth. All right. And we are those Gentiles who have sought his rest, man. So I just wanted to bring that out, man. You know, like I said, you know, Vocab Malone is mocking us because we say we're going to be able to move tanks. Yet a beetle, a dung beetle can move up to 40, all right, times its weight. See, these species have forms of spiritual power, but how much, what do you think we're going to have when we get our full spiritual bodies, those heavenly bodies, as the Allah Hayyam on earth? What do you think that's going to be like? Come on, man. Shalom.